Cornus Angelica's annual investiture concert. My name is Gabriel Lofbaum, and I am the artistic director for Chorus Angelicus. And wasn't that amazing right before I came in? That was our collaborative organist, the wonderful Elizabeth Allen. Anyway, we hope you are having a good time at home, relaxing in front of the TV or your computer screen, and ready to let your mind travel through worlds of music and song. This year, due to the COVID pandemic, we are compelled to produce our concerts at the virtual level. While the experience will not be the same, let's look at the sunny side and enjoy the opportunity to reach many more friends in our community than what we normally would in a real-time concert. We have tried to recreate the regular outline of our investiture concerts. Each choral ensemble of Chorus Angelicus will perform separately for you, while at the end, all choristers and singers will come together to deliver a moving, rousing finale. You will also have the opportunity to meet those who are singing with us for the first time, or who have moved up the choral ladder into their new ensembles. They are the reason that we call this concert Investiture, because they are invested into their new roles as choristers of Chorus Angelicus. You will also see the familiar faces of our artistic staff, the chairman of the board, and some of our seasoned choristers as well. So now, sit back, relax, and enjoy investiture. Without music, life would be a mistake by Frederick Nietzsche. Music is the strongest form of magic by Marilyn Manson. Where words fail, music speaks. Hans Christian Andersen. If I were not a physicist, I would probably be a musician. I often think in music, I live my daydreams in music, and I see my life in terms of music. Albert Einstein. If you cannot teach me to fly, teach me to sing. By J.M. Barry, Peter Pan. One good thing about, about music, music, when, when it, it hits you, you, you feel, feel no pain. pain. Bob Marley. A painter paints pictures on canvas, but musicians paint their pictures on xylem. Leopold Sikowski. director of the Angels in Training program of Chorus Angelicus. What you have just seen and heard are the Angels and the Advanced Angels of Chorus Angelicus, our two choirs with the youngest students. It is the very first time that the Angels in Training have presented themselves virtually. These students are courageous to engage in online instruction. They have demonstrated music skills they have developed with poise and confidence. We are grateful to have these children as a beginning component of Chorus Angelicus. They lift our spirits, warm our hearts, and make us feel connected to one another. As we progress through this season, please join us for all of our virtual concerts.
With their promise of commitment, of time and energy, and with the support and encouragement of their family and friends, I now invest these choristers as full members of the Junior Choir of Chorus Angelicus. Kajita Fraser, Leif Johnson, and Caroline Sinkowitz. This stole represents the unity of the Junior Choir. Someday soon, you'll don your new stole and you'll make a momentary sacrifice of individuality to become part of something greater than yourself. Head chorister is not a prize to be won, but a recognition of something that is already true. Our new head chorister leads in her musicianship and in her attitude. She is earnest in her own learning and is focused on the success of the junior choir. It is my pleasure to name and invest River Lee as this year's head chorister of the junior choir. Hello, my name is Steve Ivain, Chairman of Chorus Angelicus. When I think of a vestiture, I think of my own children coming through Angels in Training Choir. One memorable moment for me was when both my sons performed in several all-boys pieces conducted by Karen. Flash forward for several years, and another moment I'm particularly fond of is when my son Michael performed the opening solo of Once in Royal David City in a final Christmas concert that season. Now there's when he's performed at Lincoln Center with Eric Whitaker conducting. The opportunity for your children is for them to develop their voices and musical talents to a high standard. The experience will help them in future performances, whether it's professionally or personally. The experiences and relationship with the choir will have its own reward. One big initiative the board continuously works on is raising funds to help support all the activities. We are sustained through generous donations. If you wish to make a donation, please visit our page at chorusangelicus.com and find a donation link. Thank you for your efforts and participation. Now it's time to enjoy an exhilarating piece from our amazing musical friends, Carlos, Gonzalo, and Scott. We've collaborated with them often. It's always a thrill for us to do so.
And now the time has come to invest the senior choir new members with their promise of commitment and time and energy and with the support and encouragement of their families and friends, I now invest these choristers as full members of the senior choir of Chorus Angelicus, Lorelei Neri and Hannah Murphy. By acknowledging this virtual investiture, Hannah and Lorelei will try to the best of their ability to acquire those skills that will make them valuable contributors to this choir whose goal is the achievement of the highest standard of singing. This blue and gold stole for the senior choristers represents the unity of the senior choir. Every time you wear this stole, you are reminded that in order to be an optimal chorister, you must sacrifice some sense of individuality to become part of the greater musical experience for yourself, and most importantly, for those receiving the gift of your artistry. We will now invest the head choristers and choral scholar for the senior choir. Head choristers have demonstrated a high level of commitment and leadership within their choirs. Head choristers assist the director with many tasks, mostly practical ones, such as taking attendance, ensuring music has been delivered, and assisting younger choristers. The choral scholar is my personal musical assistant at rehearsals inside the choir, giving needed feedback from the choristers to the director. The choral scholar recognizes musical areas to be improved, vocal production issues, intonation problems, and quickly informs me so that I can manage them. This year's head choristers are Rachel Glander and Samantha Norton. Our choral scholar is Nur Refai. I am so proud of the three of you and can hardly wait to tackle a very fruitful season together. Hi, my name's Noor, and I have been with Chorus Angelica since before time began. If you count time beginning at around 2011. Though nine years may not sound like that much for some, uh, I cannot stress greatly enough how much these people have impacted my life. I mean, they kind of are my life. They're like my family. Um, I can spend a lot of time uh, reminiscing about camps, choir rehearsals, tour trips, and concerts. 
like a long time, like maybe too long. I mean, there was that time you went to Boston for a week. There's all those Brahms Requiem concerts, the Mozart Requiem concerts, uh, all the choir skits. But I shall spare you. Um, I'll, I have two minutes, so. I would be who I was today without Chorus Angelicus. Just, just trust me on that. Unfortunately, these splendid individuals do occasionally face the same problem I'm facing right now. They get old. And I'm gonna go to... The, the dreaded place. <clears throat> College. Um, and uh, anyways, as a children's choir, we're constantly losing our members. As skilled as our teachers are, Karen, Andrew, and Gabe, they can't form four choirs by themselves. So if you or anyone you know is interested in singing, I'd highly recommend checking us out. My nine years inform me you that you'll probably have a ridiculously fun and rewarding experience. Now that you've had enough of my reminiscent rambling slash questionably successful marketing campaign, I gotta go. Hope you all stay safe and stay sane. Goodbye. It is too bad that this concert has to come to an end. We hope you have enjoyed our virtual investiture. If you did enjoy it and are proud of the labor of love from our many singers and staff members, please show us your support by clicking on our website and sending a donation. Please remember we depend on the generosity of our patrons to keep the music alive. Chorus Angelicus would not exist if it weren't for the sum of many, many contributions. In return, we double our commitment to stay active in the field of choral music and to continue to provide you with opportunities to enjoy such an incredibly beautiful and powerful art. Choral music helps not only shape the lives of our young singers, but inspire you, our audiences. We challenge your senses. We provide you with thought-provoking songs and lyrics. We celebrate the seasons. We explore the past while looking into the future, always trying to better ourselves and our communities. We bridge the gap between bygone times and the present. We bring other cultures, languages, and ways of life to this reality. We celebrate our children and the rich diversity of the world. Please continue to support us. Don't forget to tune again to our Facebook Live page on Sunday, December the 20th, that's around Christmas time, at 7 p.m. for our virtual Christmas Angelicus concert. And now, let's say our goodbyes with what we do best, music. We leave you with a piece that is very dear to Chorus Angelicus, the canticle of Brother Sun and Sister Moon from Misa Gaia, featuring very special guest appearances from many friends and alumni of the organization. Look for those familiar faces in there to brighten your day. See you soon, everyone.